In this video, I'll be teaching you how to do the Kitchener stitch. This method is used to graft live stitches together into flat seams. And you can see right here is where we grafted them together and it's pretty flat. And the inside seam is barely noticeable and barely sticks up. So to do the Kitchener stitch, divide your stitches up evenly on two needles. Then you're going to have your long piece of tail and you want relatively long because it uses a little bit to graft them together. And you want to thread your tapestry needle onto your yarn. And you want to hold your work with the right sides facing out towards you. So to start grafting your stitches, you're going to take your tapestry needle and go into your first stitch on your front needle as if you're purling. So just come through your stitch like a purl. And you're going to leave it on your needle. You're going to go into the first stitch of your back needle as if to purl and you're going to pull it off your needle as well. Then step three, you're going to go into the next stitch on your back needle as if to knit, leaving it on the needle. Step four, you're going to go into the first stitch on your front needle as if to knit and slip it off your needle as you work it. For step five, you're going to insert your needle through the first stitch of your front needle as if to purl, leaving it on the needle. And that is how you graft your stitches together. So you just repeat steps two through five until one stitch is left on each needle, and then you're going to fasten it off. So now you just repeat each step. So step two, you go to the back needle as if to purl, taking your stitch off your needle. Then you go into the next stitch of your back needle as if to knit, leaving it on the stitch, leaving it on your needle. Then you go through your front loop on your front needle as if to knit while pulling it off. Then you're going to go through your next stitch on your front needle as if to purl, leaving it on your needle. And you just repeat that until you run out of your stitches. So back needle as if to purl and pull off. Back needle as if to knit, leave on. Front needle as if to knit, pull off front needle as if to purl, leave on. You can already see our seam starting and it is super flat and you won't you won't feel it and you won't see it how and you can see how it seamlessly blends into stockinette stitch I think this is perfect for seaming so back so back needle first stitch purl and pull off back needle first stitch knit and leave on Front needle, first stitch, 
knit and pull off, front needle, next stitch, purl and leave on. It's pretty easy to remember once you've done it a few times. you just keep going. So this is the seam when all finished and it is super flat seam. Barely can see it. So I hope this video taught you how to do the Kitchener stitch. I've used it previously on a couple videos. I'll link them down below. If you like this please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.